What's going on, gamers? Today we're here to go over how you can get your hands on 100k very, very easy and very, very fast in Elden Ring. So, if you need some runes and you want to upgrade your character, then that's coming up next. Welcome back, all you guys and girls. As always, Full Things Gaming, Full Things Xbox. Then, why not hit that subscribe and bell icon? I'll bring you all the latest and greatest in content, hints, tips, guides and builds, and just some fun gameplay of upcoming games as well. But for today, I'm here to show you how you can grab some runes really easy and really fast in order to upgrade your character. Now before we go there, I would say, if possible, try to make your way all the way over yonder to the Murkwater Cave and buy up a few of these golden foulfoots. The reason you're going to want that, it's going to mean you're a little bit more productive when you're farming these big bosses or when you need to get a little additional boost on your runes after you've got a kill. You're just going to go to the Murkwater Cave, you're going to make your way through this way I am just here, jump through to the right hand side and I've already done it but when you first go in you're going to encounter patches and you're going to have a little battle. Don't finish him off, then pick let him survive and after that you'll have him as a kind of trading post. Nice and easy and well worth it because he sells some actual good gear. Like I said, you're here for the moment, and the reason you're here is just to grab up those gold pickled foulfoot. Grab all three of them, and it'll make life a little bit easier. Now after that, the main place you're going to want to get to is Farif's Fort. If you've got a faster checkpoint, go to there, I was going from Lene's Rise. Just keep travelling the path down, and head all the way down to where I'm going, and after a little while, you should be able to make it to this wall just here, and this Site of Grace, which you'll want to activate in order to get back in whenever you need to. But as you can see, we're at Fort Farrath, and this is basically quite a long way from the last checkpoint, but as long as you're heading in this general direction, you should be good to go past the Erd Tree. If you want to come from another direction, say for example you had a better waypoint, then you can very well make it here from that one as well. Once you are here, you're going to see this absolute monstrosity that is the biggest dragon I've ever seen in any game. When I came here, I wasn't sure what to do or if it was going to be part of a quest, but I did see another character in his ghost form kind of already knocking at it, and it wasn't any bloodstains there, so I thought I'd give it a go. After about 4 or 5 normal hits, I realised that I was doing almost no damage to his health bar, and it wasn't even budging. So I tried a couple of summons. They do not do anything. The ones I used didn't even attack it. And if you have a little look here, I was taking my hit and then the rabid dog was just absolutely going mental behind me and doing pretty much nothing. So as far as I can tell, summons don't do anything, but we did find a better way to do it and to kill him quite quickly. So what you're going to want to do, have a little look through your inventory, anything you've got that causes blood loss buildup is absolutely perfect. I found these hooked claws, they I think are one of the better items for this, but anything you've got that will have that on will definitely do the job. When you're able to get that big hit after quite a few continuous hits, my one was hitting for around about 13,000 give or take. You're going to want to keep doing this until you get it very very low, then you're going to want to make sure that you've activated the golden pickled foot. Don't kill it without activating that, because otherwise you're probably going to lose out on quite a few runes. When you do get the kill, it's going to reward you with this right here, and that's a dragon heart, almost 100k in runes, and a new draconic power that you're going to have to check out once you go back to your cathedral and such. Now don't forget one other great thing, if you've got some friends that are playing online or you know someone, you can jump into their game, they can jump into your game, whatever you want to do, but you can do this with those and earn yourself 100k every single time. I got myself 300k runes this way and it really has helped to level me up because after a while those levels definitely take it out of you. Now the only thing I would say, I don't know if this is any kind of a quest line later on, I don't think it is, but obviously be a little bit wary just in case. I think the 100k runes is all well and good, because it looks like to me it's just a dragon that's been infected with rot, 
and you're putting it out of its misery. But as always, all you guys and girls, Full Things Gaming, Full Things Xbox, take care. I'll see you on the next day.